Getting the chip in. Jump like Duke's imagine, man. And that's how I pulled it on the street. <laughs> oh, slow motion too. Yeah. Like the lawnmower yeah. just jumped. That, like, was, that oh. lawnmower was dangling. Big ol' ass over here. I see the trees like tucked yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in. Stephen King has been known to speak his mind yeah. about a lot of the movies that have been made as adaptations of his books. And he's been very vocal about the ones that he hates. Mm. And he really hates The Shining. But the one right after That's The Shining, right, yeah. oh, The Shining, he will go on for days. Get That that man will buy you a beer so you can sit down <laughs> and rant about how much he can't stand Stanley Kubrick with his big ass and coming in here and messing <laughs> with my movie. And, big ass. Yes. That's probably one of his most hated ones. He's talked endlessly about that. but. If you have time for another round, you can get another beer. <laughs> he said, all right, now we got that out the way. Let me tell you about how much I hate the lawnmower man. I have a game in my house that you might like to play. Would you like that? Boy, son, he's trying to rape yeah, that. Sure that, 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 that. That's how shady it's <laughs> showing up. Why taking advantage of this poor child right here. Would you like to play? This man child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some games in my house and there's some, some candy, yeah. some toys. All right, get away from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, he's talking. <laughs> no, this is for right. science. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we want to do another? <laughs> Dude, what, what kind of science you got to talk about this damn man child over here? Get your ass out of here. <laughs> he nasty <laughs> Okay. certainly changed. I don't know how you did it, but I approve. Oh, and that's just mm. the beginning right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and knew exactly what to do with it. That was yeah, yeah. That's how smart he is. <laughs> I was like, damn, he got smart real quick because because yesterday he didn't know what to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if she gave him a chance, it would have come to him. Yeah. <laughs> that would have taken more time, but the next day, he was like, yeah, yeah. I ain't stupid no more. <laughs> just <laughs> didn't know exactly what to do with it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got this. Yeah. I don't remember from yeah. one of my textbooks. Oh, my man is King. smart. <laughs> Mr. King, Steve, can I call you Steve? What, 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 what is it with you <laughs> no. in this movie right here? No, you cannot <laughs> answer the question. The, well, let's start with this. Not what I wrote. Not at all. I mean, people take liberties with my stories, but God damn. <laughs> stay, stay on point, <laughs> you know, but stay focused. At least kind of resemble what I'm doing. There's a... The, the story's out there. It's a short story. I forgot, was it a skeleton crew or something? It's a, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Uh, yeah, I, I want to say, I think it was in. Uh, uh, Night the, Shift? Night Shift, yeah. Okay, yeah. it might be in Night Shift. Uh, but there's also an illustrated version that you can find out there online, mm -hmm. just in case you want to read it. And you can see just how different it is from what you see in this movie. Now, a lot of people grew up in this movie. And some people, you know, as, as usual, they, it has this cult following and also has a lot of people who were very young when it came out and uh, they were kids and they they grew up with this. It was popular enough for people to even have a video game back in the day. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I this. Well, it looks like the movie. <laughs> it looks better than the movie. Yeah, it does. It looks way better than the movie. <laughs> And that's on a Nintendo. <laughs> Not Super Nintendo. No. Just plain Nintendo. Yeah, old, regular old Nintendo. Regular old Nintendo. And it looks way better than this multi-million dollar movie right here. But as you can see, the differences with the with the book in this is that in the book, you had some entity, some god that was... Uh, There's a satyr. Yeah, you go. And he was just... Yeah, he popped up and started eating this man's grass. For some reason, start the chasing this man around his own home and threatening him. Uh, again, it was a story that was written by Keaton, Stephen King. I'll probably tell you, I was high as hell when I wrote that, man. Uh, and as you can see with the movie right here, this deals with science and virtual reality and taking this, this mentally challenged man named Job and him having, have, uh, having a result of expanding his mind, taking it to dangerous and some people would say godlike places. Uh, or I can just simply tell you, it has nothing at all is similar with the book or the short story. Did you read the whole story behind that? No. Because here's the thing, the uh, who, who, who put this out, was it New Line? Yeah. Okay, so they bought the rights to The Lawnmower Man and said they were gonna make that movie, <clears throat> but they had another script for a, a, a movie called Cyber God. Oh, you they, know what? I It had nothing to do with that, and they just decided, well, we got these rights, 
Let's slap that title on it. That's why Stephen King got so pissed. He's like, this is not my, this is somebody else's story. You put my name on. And he, he put sued my them. title on. Yeah. yeah, put my title on. He sued them and, and, and they still wouldn't, <clears throat> they wouldn't budge. So they ended up having to pay him, but kept his name on it. Well, that's the thing, man. A lot of people back in the day, and I have heard that, that was actually a big, a big story from back in the day. Yeah, you know? like, like actually reading that before I started watching this, I was like, all right, that makes me not hate it so much because it really is its own thing. It's not like they're butchering his story. They're ignoring his story <coughs> yeah, completely. completely. This is somebody right. else's story. Yeah. A lot of people been asking for this bad movie roast with this movie. And I'm sorry for Stephen King. I really am. That should not happen creatively to, creatively to anybody, but it made a hell of a crazy ass movie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm glad, I am glad it exists. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, whoever's ass I got to kiss with the Stephen King's a new line of, with that lying ass whoever I got to say thank you to I'm glad that it happened because this is this is insane this movie here I'm glad it's it I mean it, they would have made it without him <laughs> and it still would have been crazy oh, though yeah. right. oh, well, yeah. I mean take that whole story out of it I know. this is a crazy ass movie it is it is it's at, at it's heart it's the classic flowers for Algernon <laughs> with a bunch of really terrible <laughs> dialogue effects, and special effects yeah. and it goes on forever I had to just, I had to search so many places to find the theatrical cut. Oh. Everything that I was getting was two hours and 20 minutes long. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm not doing this. <laughs> they even, they, man, oh shit, did I? They even got me good today. Let me show y'all something, man. Cause I was looking for all kind of lawnmower mans today. I was looking <laughs> theatrical cut, but I forgot to put theatrical cut on a lot of those searches. So I got, Several, several uh, lawnmower mans that were two hours. And 20 minutes. I'm sorry, y'all. That, that was two hours and twenty minutes long. And I said, I got. I can't even. If I do that today, first of all, I don't want to do it. Okay, I just don't. But uh, if I have to, it's going to put us off until tomorrow mm -hmm. because I just can't put in a two hour and twenty minute movie, take notes on it, and you know, produce a show today. So I tried my best to find the hour and forty eight minute cut and. I got file after file after file. I finally found one and I said, oh shit, okay, here it is. I cut that son of a bitch on and it was this. Crazy man. Swedish porn. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, I knew porn you found it. And the dude is on a tractor, not even yeah. lawnmower, man. He's on a goddamn tractor, man. So I, yeah, I got, I ended up getting porn because I'm like, oh hell, what the hell is this? And at first I thought of somebody screwing around, and then this bra took her top off, yeah. and jumped on the, she jumped on that tractor, just. And I'm like, whoa, okay. So I watched you, the whole thing. Happy so an hour and a half later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so after fortunately, you jacked off. Fortunately, this was 16 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very curious to hear some of what you have to say about the the director's cut because. There were some things that I thought. Let's go. I'm going to get into it because I'm going to tell you, man. Okay. Because it that, does. It does make sense. Well, it's there were some things in the director's cut that I thought they uh, they did that made this seem so weird. And and well, I'll go ahead and get into it, and okay. I'll, I'll ask you about that when I when I have to. But okay, so this is about virtual reality. At now, this is 1992. So the fact that they're even talking about this is kind of cool because they're way ahead of the uh, they're way ahead of the uh, uh, they're, they're way ahead of a lot of things in this movie. You got to give it to them on that. Yeah, but still, okay. So that's that's commendable, but it also has made the the movie age pretty badly. Like uh, if you look at the star of the movie, they have so they have a little uh, little intro, a little uh, little little. little uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, a little, little prologue here. Where you talk about, by the turn of the millennium, a technology known as virtual reality right. will be in widespread use. It will allow you to enter computer-generated artificial worlds as unlimited as the imagination itself. True. Furthermore, its creators foresee millions of positive uses, while others fear it as a new form of mind control. Now, keep in mind, they said by the turn of the millennium. Well, we know that was bullshit. <laughs> you know, this is 20 years after, more than 20 years after the turn of the millennium. So yeah, they, they, obviously they were being a little too optimistic with this right here. <laughs> so in this, they are experimenting on chimps. And this is one thing that I really don't understand here. So at the beginning of the movie, that's the whole project that, you know, they got one special chimp, man, they put a lot of money into this monkey right here. And mm -hmm. they're they saying, you know what? And this is the military and the, and, the, and the evil corporation that is behind this. 
And I don't get this because what they say is that they're going to get him uh, ready for combat by playing shitty video games. Damn doll ass. Got a damn doll dressed up the Tron outfit. That's a my buddy doll. Yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker be Chucky in that bitch. Yeah. Look at that. Suspended. Just sitting there like. The idea is to get this experiment to where this works so well with chimps, they can do it with other chimps, but then move on to humans. Okay, that's that's kind of what I got. I think there's a little cut short right here, but in the beginning, yeah. they didn't cut a whole lot. Like it, <laughs> like this. You know, I thought there in the beginning. I said, okay, this is where we see differences between the theatrical cut and the director's cut because with the uh, with this one, things just happen. Like after this, uh, chimpanzees finish playing video games and they close for the night. <laughs> And after they shut down for the night, his ass breaks out immediately. <laughs> like, he, like, he found a little wire here. He put him in a lock. And he said, I'm out this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bubbles is out yeah, this bitch. Yeah, right Bubbles is gone, boy. Picked that lock quick, didn't he? Now, they, didn't tell, they didn't say where he got that wire from. He just had it. How he learned how to pick a lock? Yeah, he did. With a, with a, with a, with a wire, reality. I guess so. The, the experiment. <laughs> they don't say. They don't say. So I thought, okay, maybe they cut some st some stuff out. Uh, or you could, you can, if you want, you can blame it on just poor security. Because once that chimp is out, <laughs> he... He just rolls up on a guard. Oh, like, no. Now, keep in mind that this is a multi-million dollar, not project, but a multi-million dollar chimpanzee. Right. This fool bust out. <laughs> no one knows. And he just rolls up on a security guard, <laughs> takes his gun and BAM! <laughs> <laughs> Wild. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Yeah. 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 You know what it is. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think he yeah. saw that shit sideways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just What's rolled up on yeah, my man. Yeah. My man's a whore. <laughs> and I like the way they slowed it down. You can see how his dumb ass was surprised. <laughs> oh. Hey, you said, yeah, baby. Up, bitch. What'd up, bitch? What'd you say? Sup, homie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop, bitch. <laughs> <Bam>! <laughs> That's right. So, so no cameras were on this on this damn chimp when he busted out. No one saw a damn. No one saw a damn monkey wearing a, a Mega Man helmet. Yeah, on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no alarms went off. <laughs> Look at that camera. He said, "You see that little Mega Man top of us moving around, looking around." Look around. <laughs> what I'm talking about? Yeah. Wait, well, he look like look like he's on a tricycle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look like yeah, a little skateboard. Look like he rolled up on my tricycle. Yeah, yeah, like that saw puppet. Like he's yeah, rolling yeah, up. Yeah. It's, it's just like it doesn't. Even, there's no movement. Like he's walking. There's just no bobbing up and right. Oh, yeah. Your chimp cam. Yeah, he, he chew cam. Yeah. yeah, he's on a little tricycle, man. Look at this. Hey, man. Yeah, now he's got a GoPro. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does. What's up? And then they get into these weird cuts. The cuts are, man, they, these are taken three kind of cuts. Yeah, these these cuts don't make any sense, man. Like, look at these cuts right here. Where <laughs> <laughs> uh, you going? Yeah, get your ass back. About to roll his ass over. <laughs> About to run him over that little tricycle. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, what? Okay, so this is crazy. See, okay, you're right. This is a taken three kind of cut. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So what happened was the the chimp got shot. Oh, because uh, and that's what you hear. You hear the gunshot. Oh. You hear the scream of the chimp. Okay, but if you look at it, like you got the 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 the, the slow mo, which looks like they only used it to because they didn't have enough footage to cover up or to make up for the showing the chimp getting shot. But I'm, I'll tell you in a little bit the why, why I think this. And then you, when you hear the shot. You don't really see the, the 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 expression with the sound of the chimp screaming and the gun going off. The expression that we see with this chimp right here doesn't even match. Yeah, he's 
just spread his mouth completely closed. Closed, yeah. Now, I thought, okay, so this is where the, the director's cut comes in because they they had to put this together because they were forced to, to, to make cuts and they had nothing to really work with. Uh, but the director's cut is like this too. Pierce Brosnan, who plays Larry, Larry the scientist, <laughs> Larry the scientist guy, he comes in and he's waking up with cold sweats, having night night terrors. Oh, let me see it. Uh, I cut the sound down. He's, yeah, he's waking up being all weird oh. and shit. Oh, 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 yeah. My monkey! <laughs> Just, uh, tearing up the room. Yeah, I thought, so, it looks like he suffers from PTSD. Oh, God. So, watching this, I was like, all right, you know, I thought he was suffering from PSD, P- P- PTSD. Uh... Plus, early in uh, or late in the movie, they talk about how, or he says, like, I, I don't want to go around people. His wife wants him, wants, wants him to take her to town. And he's like, I would, but I just, I cannot be around people right now. Harry, I want to go. I don't feel like going to the city. You never want to go anywhere. Now, at first, I thought he had PTSD, and maybe Mark can expand this on me or for me, but I... It looked like to me that he didn't want to go to town or do anything because he just like staying at home and jacking off in that virtuality machine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and go. Yeah. But, 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 but call me when you're in your yeah, way yeah, back. Yeah. Don't, just, don't, just, don't just be running up on people yeah. when you're inside the house. Son of a pit. Jacking off the shitty <laughs> CG. Yeah. Oh. Got the little ass shorts on too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, he. I mean, he was traumatized by the, the those guys killing the the chimp, and and then his experiment, everything he worked for, they kind of booted him out because yeah. he he didn't want to, you know, have it, it all turn into a weapon, and he quit. But he was just so worried about. I'm just trying to make this work. It's just funny too because. And his, his wife, a girlfriend, has no sympathy with his fan whatsoever. Yeah. But, uh, but then he's also kind of pushing it. Look, man, I see her point because, like, when, when he's not jacking off the bad CG, he's sitting around getting drunk, talking to himself. Yeah. Try to learn to be first. Work, marriage, life. Fuck like this bitch. No. Now, at this point, when <laughs> yeah. he's just sitting around drinking and working on this all day and <laughs> talking to himself, wife finally says, you know what? Well, f- I'm, I'm out. I'm going now, Larry. Well, don't blame me. He's like, when you gonna go? Yeah, no, no. I, I thought you said you were leaving. I don't need, I don't need a lecture on your way out. You going right? Yeah, this is why I'm drinking right now, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, and I'm saying this for real, man, because once she's gone, he seems like he don't give a shit at all. He don't care, and it doesn't help that he works for it. Like, like when I was saying that this is an evil corporation, oh, yeah. it is a, it is very much an evil corporation. First of all, you know because the CEO. Looks just like Lex Luthor, <laughs> yeah. sitting around giving giving veiled threats. You signed ironclad non-disclosures. VSI owns it all. Besides, it might not be the healthiest thing to try. <laughs> so that's some mafia shit right, right there, you know? Oh, also the offices. So this is supposed to be a lab. You know, in a lab, you want to see what you're doing, so you keep things nice and lightly, uh, and brightly right. lit. Well, well, uh, then, yeah. not here. This it's all. This is like Spectre. It's all shadowy and it's all yeah. dark. And the head guy that everybody talks to, uh, he talks to everybody on a big villainous ass screen. Oh, with his head. With his head covered oh, everything. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's like he's like he's big brother. And he has a villainous vague name, like Mr. Director. And he talk he even talks with, with a villainous accent. Mr. Director. Well, he'll be back. One way. Or another. Oh, another. Oh, oh, ha, ha. Now, it took me a while to realize. That took me the whole movie, actually, to realize. Who oh, that was. That's <laughs> Hank from Breaking Bad. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like, yep. There's so much shit. Yeah, yeah, because when the credits came on and it said Dean Norris, I was like, oh, well, I wonder what he is. And then that came, I was like, oh, shit, that's him. <laughs> that's him. And it took me a while because, well, he's talking with some kind of accent. Like I said, the only way I can describe it is as villain. Yeah. We know where he's going. So he even got a pipe. <laughs> yes. no, we, we know where he's going. Bring Larry to me. I'm so powerful. I can, <laughs> don't have to enunciate my words. Do make sure he never fails me again. Put him in tomorrow. Pick them both up at once. We don't want him stealing his work now, do we? What kind of 
Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like, I can't I'm even stand you. Where, you. where are you from? <laughs> Can you just talk to me like a normal person? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about the man himself, the lawnmower man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a cold, man. <laughs> oh, Smile and shit. Oh, people. When he comes in. Okay, so here's the interesting thing with this movie. When we finally bring the lawnmower man in, he makes this movie to where it can be split up in three phases. Now hear me now, because there's three, okay. there are three parts to this movie with, with, with his development here. Um, so let's get to the first one. One is very obviously, uh, or very obvious right here. Uh, let's, uh, phase number one, the mentally challenged phase, you know, which is just insulting. Mainly because this is the '90s. This was made oh, in '92. Oh God! Yeah, they, they, yeah. There was no sensitivity towards that whatsoever. No, not at all. They they tossed the R word around like, like, left like, and like, right. like they're getting paid every time they oh, say hell it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Many challenged people in the '90s were summed up very well by this movie right here. You in full return, man. <laughs> that yeah, was it. Yeah. I'm not trying. Listen, we're not throwing our word around loosely. We're not trying to make fun of people. But that is what happened mm -hmm. here, man. We were around back then. Trust us. They did not give a f They were no, terrible. No. Back in the 90s, Shit. being mini challenged meant you were f stupid. <laughs> All right. That's, that's goofy. And, yeah. and you are a source for so much humor. Right. Yes. You, you. And being stupid meant that you had no dignity at all. Back then, you know, you got to wear stupid clothes. Yeah. You got to yeah. dress like a toddler. This man is up here wearing Oshkosh Bagash yeah, over here. A, have a goofy smile yeah, on your look, face. This this is what grown people dress like when they go out as Chucky for Halloween. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> these clothes he's wearing right here, like they don't fit like half the time. These overalls are hanging off off his shoulder because yeah. he, he's too stupid to pull it up. Yeah. Uh, and also in the 90s, many challenged people in Hollywood, they they didn't walk. Like normal people. Oh, I mean, how are they Lord. supposed to tell it that you're re by their term? How suppose they were tell that, supposed to tell that you're retarded when you're walking down the street no. from a block down? You know, you, you can't be surprised at people like that. <laughs> right. You know, no, you had to you had to let people know with that derpy ass walk you had. You yeah. know that, and they did that a lot. You, you know, oh, you right there, look at he, he looking like Quasimodo he walking sure down the street. Is. Back then, just so they just so they know that yo. Your stupid ass was uh, was walking down the street. You had to have that stupid walk. <laughs> he's walking like he just shit on himself. Yeah. He's walking like he's never used that lawnmower before. Ever. And the one him. thing he's got going for him is that he cuts the lawns and everybody wants him to cut their yeah. lawns. We're saying that Hollywood exaggerates. They especially exaggerated back then when it came to mentally challenged people. Sure did. Because they had a very, for them, you know, they had a very limited view of what it was like. Because, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of, first of all, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, mentally challenged or mental dis people uh, with, mental di with, with mental disabilities being, uh, damn, I might have one. <laughs> <laughs> mental disabilities being, in, you know, being featured in Hollywood. So mm -hmm. there was almost an ignorance with this. No, and whenever it was, it was always a tragic story. Yeah. A movie of the yeah. week. His yeah, album. yeah, it was. Yeah, if they couldn't get like some some uh, some morality tale out of you, so some movie of the week, then they just made you look dumb as hell. Yeah, only thing we had was Corky. Life I was gonna say yeah. Corky yeah. was that, that was what made that show so groundbreaking. Was yeah. that like, oh, we have a kid with Down syndrome and they're treating yeah. him with respect. He's yep, almost the hero of the show because they did not. That was <laughs> rare to treat these people with respect, man. You know, it because like that's like, what we're talking about here. That's just the tip, man. You know that all the the stupid walk and clothes and everything. When I say they strip you of your dignity, they take everything. You can't even live in a decent home. This <laughs> this man up, this grown yeah, I, man. I, I know they got him in a shack. Or he's something. in a shack. I knew it. I knew it. I'm straight. Not and, and Billy <laughs> saying it's a shack is actually nice. <laughs> your blood. Oh. But th he's passing out from heat stroke right now. Right. People, this is this is not a shack. This is a storage shed. Right. Where you keep shovels and hoes and, and he's sitting there sleeping with that damn lawnmower. In him. He ain't got no bed. Right. He's he sleeping got, upright. He's sleeping upright. He ain't got no bed. sleeping like animals live better than this. Yeah. yeah, look at look at this, man. It's sunny outside. And it, he ain't got no window open. Yeah. And got the door open. That's how he used to punish like slaves. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not just what they put on him. He's also living with this crooked priest that no. is abusing him. Well, yeah. Well, I, I got that. Okay. Yeah. No, I was just saying. But right here, yeah. he, they put his ass in a goddamn shack. Was he taking a nap? You no, know, he's passed out from his stroke. Oh, 
Like he's in there sleeping when you can see the supplies and the fertilizer yeah. that he's mixed in there with. <laughs> and he's just inhaling all of that. Yeah, he's probably oh, inhaling God. fumes and everything, well, man. you know. Yeah, he just, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> like he's not even human enough to live in decent quarters, man. Like, you know, I mean, and again, I know that there's a reason for this in the story, but they they, they took it too far. Like he wouldn't yeah. have to take it this far. Get that dirty ass blanket on him and all that. You know what this is? This is the hole in prison. This is where they yeah. throw prisoners. When that's you, what I'm saying. That's, when how, they, that's, that's how they, they, they punished you back. Well, no prison in the 30s. Yeah, yeah. They not throw, now. This fool. <laughs> they get trouble do that to you now. This is what they throw prisoners in the hole as punishment. This fool is living in these conditions. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, you can't have friends either. You know, you're too stupid to have. Uh, well, you can. You just don't ask for adult friends. You know, you gotta, say it's got to be a kid. Got to be a little kid. You gotta, you gotta be friends with people on your on your mental level, which usually means that it's uh, you know a kid, not kids, because the rest of the neighborhood don't like your ass. You know, but there was one kid, <laughs> one kid that would probably have sympathy for you. Peter, Newt Master Special Edition. Yeah, it's three D too. All right, where's the glasses? Glasses. Kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep face like you're right. Yeah. Like, wow, you, you know, look, I'm trying to be a friend, man, but you make this kind of hard. You make, you make, you're not making this easy, man. <laughs> God damn, man! I asked you to do one thing. I yeah. swear to God. You're like, look, you know, everybody labor don't like you, man. I'm your only friend. You going like that? That's the thing. Even the kids are smarter than him. Yeah. <laughs> So when he's not hanging out with another kid who's actually getting kind of tired of his ass, you know? Yeah, know. <laughs> he said, I'm hard really wanted to read this shit too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn you, Joe. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> you can't keep doing shit like this. God damn, Joe. You have to do something right, man. Maybe you have way on you, something. You really don't know, man. Yeah, damn, I'm trying. I'm trying. You have way, Joe. God damn, I'm boy. trying, man. <laughs> Joe, don't. Again, boy. <laughs> <laughs> You have Job sitting around talking to inanimate objects like he's Quasimodo from <laughs> the, the Disney movie. Like he's, uh, like he's, he, you know, ain't nobody around to talk to. He's like, at least I can talk to Jesus. Jesus don't even want to talk to him. He got to talk to a statue of Jesus. So don't you tell anybody, okay? Okay. You're like, we get uh, your ass up there. Yeah, I know, I know. And leave Jesus alone. He don't, he don't want to hear your stupid ass. ass. <laughs> yeah, she's the one hear that dumb shit. <laughs> Jesus got enough problems that your dumb ass up there bothering him. Get your ass back down there. So tell nobody, okay? Don't worry, he won't. Yeah. <laughs> like, get your ass down there. You know, if I just came and kicked that leg. Oh! He's saying the rip to him. Yeah. He's pulling off the ladder. Get off of my ladder, you idiot. You know, he's, he's sort of he? like an idiot savant in a way because wow. he's, he's such the lawnmower man. Like, like, not only can he repair lawnmowers, but he, like, he uh, tricks them out. <laughs> oh, shit. He, he got this lawnmower looking like a drag race car. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god, could you look at this? <laughs> well, look at that. He's got pipes on it. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, look at this. That was completely unnecessary, <laughs> but thank you. The, the wacky racism. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, like, you're going to start that thing and it's just going to take off and go down the street. <laughs> Wait, stop it. <laughs> it's like Speed Buggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like some shit on Mario Kart or something. Yeah, man. he said Wacky Racers. <laughs> yeah. Shit, the only adults that talk to Job are the ones that have to, like his boss. Uh, and he probably only is nice to him because he's drunk half the time. Who was the actor that played it? Jeffrey Lewis. Jeffrey Lewis. Oh, another one. Killer, killer. Oh, Now, you can see him day drinking, and I will give the movie this. They actually, they, 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 they give a reason why he drinks during the day. I feel like you're living there. He's Irish. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. You know. All right, when James is mad at you, hey, yeah, you're Irish. I say no. I, James is where I'm coming from, because that's lazy right there. This man is straight up. I was like, no, you didn't make this, this drunk-ass man Irish. I, I would counter that. He's not Irish. He just has an Irish-ish accent. Okay. <laughs> Feel like you're living there. Top of a tree. Shut Come on, boy, let's go. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> <Kershaw. laughs> That's why Je Je Jeffrey Lewis is always known for the different accents he could do, but listen to him here. I was like, dude, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, even he's confused. <laughs> right. I just say it's nice to see him play a different kind of a role. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's always drunk. Every time he plays for him, he's always drinking Jeffrey Lewis. Yes, it is. So there's this evil priest in here, and. Oh, shit. 
he might have been raping Job. I don't know. See, because he seems really turned on. You know he did. Yeah, when, he when, seems when, really until Job got too big. Yeah, and shit. Even then. <laughs> yeah. But they they hint that you know he he because he look he when he comes in and starts talking to Job he looks a little bit too turned on by. God saw fit to make you a ward of this church and you must earn your keep. Yeah. I tried to teach that stupid mind of yours responsibility since you were five years old. That's sexy stupid Damn, mind. He's been nagging him this whole time. <laughs> hey. No, God's lessons helps you to remember best, Job. Damn, just giving him a back massage yeah. the whole time. Yeah, uh, man, stop I think me. I think either the movie didn't want to take it that far, or they just like implying it. Because when you watch the movie, because I thought he was about to rape Job, no, nah, he pulled out a belt and started beating his ass. Oh shit! <laughs> they got this dude named Jake. I guess Jake work, works at the lo local gas station. One thing I don't even know why they keep going to the gas station. It must be the only one in town. <laughs> it, yeah, because this dude Jake hates. He he hates Job, man. Like whenever they pull up, like really, this, if even if they got to go ten miles out of town, it'll be worth it. Because every time they go to this gas station, this dude Jake is always trying to start shit with Job. Hey, Jake, that's dangerous. You forget who you're talking to, half wit. He's there. smoking, Terry. That's right, I'm smoking. Fuck you, shut the fuck up and fill up your gas tank. <laughs> By the way, it wasn't like Job went over there and got in his business. He got in Job's face uh -huh. with that cigarette, he, hoping that Job would say something. He is, he is more childish than Job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he takes Job's existence personal. Uh, Jake, he don't mean no harm. Jake. Yeah, he's a boy <laughs> if he wasn't here. <laughs> yeah, he's a <laughs> Pierce Brosnan. Pierce, I'm gonna tell you, Pierce Brosnan is not that good either, man. <laughs> no, he's. I mean, not not one not one person. Not one person really has it's like. Yeah, you yeah. know, all, all that goddamn lawnmower is probably the most sincere person, honest person, to, and, and nice to to to, to Job, man. Pierce Brosnan is not even that that that. You you can't really say that he's that good, man. You know, because now that he doesn't have like a chimp to to experiment on, oh. like he's like, well, shit. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna find a way to continue the work on my own. There's so much to do. Oh, I just use this idiot right here. <laughs> yeah. What does he do? Talking to his beer? Yeah, just talk, talking to himself like he's been doing. Like he sits around, talks to himself. Yeah, I mean, he, he's drunk most of the time. Yeah, he's yeah, when, he, he's, when he's not in the lab. And, and by the way, don't give a shit about that wife being gone. Yeah, no, no you're right. Ain't, yeah. ain't, ain't looked at a picture, haven't said, you know, I, boy, I let a good thing go. No, he's like, yeah, I'm glad that bitch is gone. I get to drink more, I get to fart and move around the house. And did, did it not feel like Peter's mom was flirting with him at one point? A little point? bit. Yeah, like I get to do whatever I want to do. Drink, drink all I want to, do all this, jack off of my VR, ex experimental mini challenge people. You know, I can do whatever the hell I want to do. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do. Is the other lady Peter's mom? No. With the no, oh, okay. no. Sorry, go ahead. Um, so he gets this fool and brings him in the house and starts pumping him full of movie drugs. That looks like a gun. That's that Stephen King <laughs> creep show. Yeah. yeah. Meteor shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Look over there. Ah! Nah, you said it would hurt. <laughs> you said it would hurt. <laughs> yeah, that silly uh, East Coast accent, no, too. He's it. smoking, Jerry. <laughs> he said it would hurt. You <laughs> duck. You lied to oh, me. Oh, it brings him in. They start doing those Chuck E. Cheese rides. And oh, then. yeah. Come on, go fast. Come on, I can get you right now. <laughs> yeah. All this is to test his coordination and. You know, see how he's prog progressing with the medicine that he's giving him. You know, the the, the I guess that Captain America serum the, the, that he's the giving smart him. Drugs. The smart, yeah, the, the <laughs> smart, cheese, the right? smart juice. Yeah, he come in these Chuck E. Cheese rides right here. Uh, but the but the big chick. <laughs> That's what gets me every time. Chuck <laughs> and and cheese, like, right? This shit looks just like a. This. And he's just over there smoking, just looking at it like he's a bored parent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, y'all here to come on, yeah, yeah. man. You know, if you grew up next to somebody who had Chuck E. Cheese rides, you'd be over there every day. Oh hell yeah, yeah. at that age, yeah, yeah at that age, you, even if your 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 parents. Are like, yeah, we don't know about him. You're like, well, I oh, do. Yeah. He's got, yeah. he's got rides. He gets yeah. the bomb rides. Well, he's looking just like a dad. Y'all need to 
up, so I can go home. <laughs> yeah. My show is about to come on. Let's go. Yeah, my story's about to come on. <laughs> He's just smoking, looking at the thing. Hey, y'all hurry up. Y'all had enough already. Yeah, it's enough. I'm recording. The only thing that's missing is goddamn pepperoni pizza around there. Big <laughs> yeah, games. it's some nasty parts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, the, <laughs> but the big change happens when he puts them in the VR rig. Ground five. Engage. Change brainwave parameters. Brainwave. And starts putting shitty CG into his brain, which starts making him smart. Something that you cannot do with virtual reality. Well, it's like, how big of a house does he live in to have all this space? I know. And to just have these extra Tron suits laying around. <laughs> well, I mean, he, she did move out. So he got <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got a man cave now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. Uh, that brings us to phase two, the oh. the, the sexy phase. Oh, okay. So now that he's done with the, <laughs> the with the mentally challenged phase, now that he's getting the smart juice and the Chuck E. Cheese coordination, all that kind of stuff. Now, he because you know, uh, being smarter, you know, you know how it is. It automatically makes you sexier. Okay. You got a horse? Mm, he starts f***ing himself and everything. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah. So don't go to a gym, read a book. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you, according to this movie. You get abs immediately. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he probably had them already from all that manual labor he was yeah, doing. Maybe so. Oh, maybe that really was <laughs> Captain America's super serum. He started putting up Yeah, maybe it was. You know how it is in these movies, though. You know, once you start getting smarter, they got to make you more attractive. So miraculously, somehow, you just start getting abs and toned right. up mm, and everything. Confidence. And yeah, yeah. Not making silly faces. Oh, and by the way, when you're sexy, you know, not necessarily when you're smart, he's getting there, but when you're sexy, you don't take shit off of nobody anymore. Dr. Angelo, isn't it? Bitch, I'm sexy. You better take yeah, that yeah, shit off. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, better take that belt somewhere else, man. Boy, I'll knock your out with it. Yeah, you can't do this to my sexy ass. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> You go mess up my skin. Yeah. <laughs> I just moisturized my yeah, get on, get on somewhere. See these goddamn biceps? Yeah. I'll whoop your ass. <laughs> oh, and by the way, he's uh he is too smart for shirts now. You know, I think oh, yeah, he's more yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, it's hot. Why am I wearing all that? Yeah, 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 dressed like Chucky at the time. <laughs> yeah, you see something you like, bitch? Yeah, he's <laughs> You done got off that same row yeah. four times. <laughs> and you're going to be dirt shit. after a while. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it, 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 it ain't so, <laughs> so hot that he won't take off those hot ass pants and that giant belt ball. I know. Yeah, that, that's part of the look, man. Those yeah. are dress jeans. You know, if you're looking at Joe right here and saying, damn, he's sexy, you know, you probably can't do it just by taking super serum and mowing lawns all day. But you can kind of get there if you take care of yourself and you start by eating right. <laughs> That's how you do it. And you can eat right if you start using Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. You know, these meal plans have been something that is very popular with our viewers and our listeners. I've had a lot of people tell me that they love using these because, you know, a lot of people who can't cook actually can get in the kitchen and stop using that microwave to heat up things, start, stop, you know, putting that, that pre-made chili in a pot and heating that up, you know, you can actually start cooking and making stuff that's healthy for you. You know, Green Chef, they got options for all kind of lifestyles. They got the keto, the protein packed meals. They got vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, Mediterranean, you know, look, whatever's going on out there, they got it for you. Mm. Also, <clears throat> you can choose from a lot of variety. You can choose from 50 plus weekly menus and you also have the option to mix and match. So don't think that one thing just has to be keto, keto. Don't think that one thing has to be vegetarian. You know, you, if you want something heavy on the veggie side, a little light on the meat side, or vice versa, hey, Green Chef has got you on that. You customize, customize it like you want to. And you get everything you need at Green Market. That's the one-stop shop for quick breakfast. You can get brunch kits, nice lunches. You can easily add those into your weekly order. And they also have the fast and fit recipes under 100, no, I'm sorry, 750 calories. And you can get them ready in 25 minutes or less. What tastes better than the food? You know, you sprinkle a little of that environmentalism on there. Ooh, that's delicious right there, man. You know, Green Chef is the only meal kit that is both carbon and plastic offset. They offset 100% of their delivery emissions to your door, as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. All this sounds good, all this sounds delicious, but people are saying, yeah, yeah, you know, being environmentally safe and all that kind of stuff, that sounds great, but you really wanna know what tastes good? Money. 
money being cheap, me not having to spend a whole lot on this, and you don't, especially with what I have to give you right here. If you go to greenchef.com slash toasted60 and use the code toasted60 to get 60% off plus free shipping, that is exactly what you'll get. Again, that is greenchef.com slash toasted60. If you care about your body, you want to eat better these days, and as I said, you want to eat better, but you don't know how to put the meal together, this is a good thing to try right here. And I want to thank Green Chef for coming in and sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank all of you out there for your support. Thank you. And moving on. I like this because he's he ain't he's not the smartest yet, mm -hmm. but he is smart enough to know he's sexy now. He he, would, he knows that much, right? Yeah, boy, he knew this girl wanted. He knew this girl wanted to get with him. So he went. Oh, back. look at her now! Yeah. God damn, boy! Oh yeah, now she, she couldn't have made it more obvious. No. Right. And he know that she's coming to the gas station, so he been waiting there all day. When she finally got there, boy, he 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 started posing and bent that ass up and put it all oh. out there for her. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like, me. See she, something you like she, over she, here? Yeah, <laughs> so you, like, yeah, you like what you see? Yeah, shit, I'm the new and improved lawnmower yeah. man. Now with 75% more sexiness up in here. He starts my shirt and everything. Traded that Oshkosh for Levi's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now I cut yards yeah. and, and starch white shirts. <laughs> yeah. and, and cowboy boots. <laughs> and cow and nice cowboy boots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cut that ass. Dude. Yeah, you look at her like, yeah, that grass long yet? You need, some, <laughs> you need, you need a mow? <laughs> you can call me. <laughs> And Jake was so tough earlier. Boy, this is where we get a chance to see just how, just how fragile Jake is now. Because Jake was trying to get up in that shit before. Yeah, yeah Jake is a bitch. Yeah, Jake is pure. Yeah, Jake, not, Jake is not only a bitch. Jake is a simp. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. She's just teasing this happen. And I tell you, she wants this young fella. Yeah. Don't you call her no whore around me, old man. But now, look, <laughs> look at him. Look at He ain't even hitting it. No. Yeah. No, now not, not, not he want to be a white knight. Don't you call her a whore around me. This young fella, don't you call her no whore around me, old. She don't even know you exist. <laughs> right, right. You tried right. to get up in that early, and she, she ignored your ass promptly. <laughs> don't you call a whore around me until I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jake, don't do that. You know, I love it, because even when Joe gets hit, his ass is still sticking out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still got that ass. You're like, that's all right. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, though. yeah. yeah you ain't got no ass like yeah, this, Jake. Yeah, yeah. You sucker punch. Look at his ass, though. It's all good until Job said, "Let's let's 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 take this back to my place. Let's take, oh, oh, oh no. Let's, let's take this to the next level." So they start having virtual reality sex, you know, melting into each other, sucking face and everything. Yeah, no and it and look, she's having a good time. It's kind of fun until that shit turns into just a horrible LSD trip. It's from our primal mind. I don't like it. So let me out. <laughs> You all right. No. <laughs> <laughs> he says, oh my God! He says, shit, I'm going to get mine. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 You, no I, ain't you, done, you, I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. <laughs> well, man, I finished that. You finished. <laughs> shit, I'm going to get mine. You better get yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you better. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, you better get yours. That no. <laughs> shit, they be laughing. Help me, Joe. No. No. <laughs> Joe. No. It's sex about this. Yeah, no, yeah, you're like, Joe, okay, I, I get it, man. Maybe you had sex so much and you your intelligence has elevated to a point where you're bored with yeah. it. But nobody so wants that. Right. Like, what is sex about this at all? Except the Joe. He pulled the helmet off. Look, look yeah, like, yeah, his, his mouth turned into a vagina. Yeah, yeah it did. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I sex for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I ain't yeah, done yet. Yeah, I ain't done yet. You, you ain't having fun? <laughs> yeah, bro. But just sit here and watch like, what like I do. Goddamn deformed Bowser or something up here. What the f wrong with you? He, regular sex don't do it for him. As you can, as you can clearly see right, right, right here. Yeah. What the hell this means, I don't know. So as you can see, regular sex don't do it for him because, uh, you know, he's smart now. For a guy smarter than him, as him, this, this is where things are at now. And I would say now that even sex doesn't do anything for him, period. Because now he's transcended. Cause he's sitting around and he can read minds now. Oh, Joe. Oh, I don't got time for this. Oh, no. I hope he doesn't puke on the counter. 
<laughs> Dude's like Grover. What's happening to that guy? But you ain't lying. It's a town full of assholes. Nobody right? has any sympathy. No, no, no. No, to <laughs> no one said, are you okay? Except for the waitress. Yeah. It was just like, I just don't want to clean up after this. <laughs> yeah, man. Right, old Joe. Again. Yep. Oh, now he can actually move things with his mind. So now he doesn't even have to go out there and mow the lawn himself. He does it with telekinesis. Telekinesis. Yeah. Terribly, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no smooth pattern. <laughs> it's just, it's just willy nilly going around. He's like, but yeah, but check out this shit I did. Yeah, no, no, you can. My yeah. Yard, though. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't touch it though. Yeah. <laughs> but I did it. With, but, I fucked it over my mind. Yeah, I liked it better with your hands. Yeah. I gotta be honest. Yeah, you missed the spot like several. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, messing up that lawn, man. Yeah, yeah. And this is where we get to phase three. Now that we just gone full out insane here, we have been in phase three, which is the bad CG phase because now that he's got his powers, uh -huh. the rest of this movie is nothing but just terrible special effects. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> To this point, I was, I've been like, it's a bad movie, but not as bad as I remember. When we get here, I was like, ah, oh, yes, uh, <laughs> memories flood back. Uh, uh, I remember you. <laughs> yeah, it's just man, it's, it's it's terrible. It's horrible because it's following the formula of the fly. Yeah, where uh, you know, first he's the nerdy professor, yeah. then he then he gets the powers and he's awesome. He's sexy and, and all yeah, that. Yeah, sexy and all that, and then it all kind of turns on. Oh, him. You're right. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. It is the fly, mm -hmm. man. You were wow. you're spot on with that. Yeah. Uh, so that was yeah. So he, you know, and now we're at the part where he goes and exacts revenge on on his uh, on his abusers, those who have wronged him. Yeah. Uh, but the difference between something like the fly and this is that. The way he kills these people is with terrible CG effects. The priest is the first one. <laughs> yeah, he, he was always going to go oh, first. He was right? always going to be the first yeah. one. Yeah, he, that was, he was on top of the yeah. list. Uh, and he kills the priest by burning him with cartoon fire. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you gonna love this. <laughs> you, you, are. you gonna, you gonna, you gonna love, love all these. Like, actually. Yeah, <laughs> nothing gonna brace you for this right here. That's some Wicked Man shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wicked Man. Animated man. fire. It's like something from Disney from like Bed Knobs and Bruises. Yes. Yeah. 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 The Bed Knobs and Bruises look better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Disney would animate this better because this fool, look, he's supposed to be screaming in agony. He's dancing. <laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks like a man dancing covered in butterflies. Yeah. Yeah. It's so bad. <laughs> You're like, Jesus, this is terrible. <laughs> so. You know, number two on the list, Jake. Yeah, I knew it. You know Jake, Jake had to be number list. two, yeah. And it looks like it's going to be kind of cool at first because he catched Jake at that, ga at that goddamn gas station. <laughs> <laughs> his, head, his, head his headquarters. Station. His headquarters, yeah. Yeah, he said, well, I know where you there every time I go there. <laughs> Jake said. Yeah, I know where Jake is at. So he goes there. He's like, I got something for your ass. So he goes there and, and he, 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 he traps him with the, with the, with the pumps. At this point, he lobotomizes Jake with the CG lawnmower that's shaped like his face. Oh my God. There's no escape. Shit, if I was if I had that bad CG going on my head all the time, I'd be lobotomized. I'd be lobotomized and crazy too. I'd be tortured too. <laughs> you said the lawnmower man's face. Yeah, I know what you said. I don't know whose <laughs> face that was. <laughs> that was not your yeah. face. Oh, uh, probably the coolest death which because it doesn't involve any stupid looking CG is the abusive dad. Damn, you really love for a boy got down. That's the best I've seen so far. <laughs> you ain't gonna get me without a fight, goddamn it. You gonna have to come get this ass. <laughs> I like that it's, in, like it's brought to you in lawnmower cam. Yeah. <laughs> Jump like Duke's <laughs> amazing, man. And that's how I pulled it out straight. <laughs> oh, slow motion, too. Yeah. Like the lawnmower yeah. just jumped. That like, shit, it was something that off. lawnmower was dangling. Bring your ass over here. I see the trees like tops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, my favorite is when he's trying to break into the evil corporation headquarters. And on his way, he, he, see, he sees a he sees a, a, a B plushie 
on the dashboard. He's like, ah, that gives me an idea. Ah, that tells me how I can defeat the guards at the gate. So he decides to attack them with a a swarm of shitty looking CG insects, which don't look like bees. No. Okay, the CG's too much. Yeah. I can't take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that is bad, man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's Jesus, the worst. That was now that did not look good back in ninety two. No, mm-hmm. no, no, not at all. God damn, that was horrible. It looked like static on TV. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like hot buttered static. <laughs> 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 look at it. That's all it is. It's just yeah. it's just noise filter. Yeah, that's it's, it. it's not insects, y'all. You you know you can put a noise filter on a, on on video footage today, and it looks. Like that, ain't no swarm. That's they, that's a swarm of nothing. Yeah. That's a mess. It's nothing. That's, it's that's, a big mess. That's CG slop. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you, you, that badass that you saw at the beginning comes in. He kills Job's uh, boss. Oh my God, dude! Come on, Jeffrey. Ah, oh, he didn't even say. Oh, he said that's like this shit felt good. Ah, oh. <laughs> he's like, I'm out this uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Thank God. Oh, I ain't got to do this no more. Sweet release. Yeah. <laughs> and I told you, my man, because they introduced him like he was going to be some badass in this movie. No, he went out like a bitch. No! <laughs> <laughs> someone threw ketchup behind him. Yeah, <laughs> shit was. Yeah, very, very clearly, a squid went off behind him. Yes. <laughs> but not even where he shot or something. No, squid exactly. went off at the base of his goddamn neck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or his skull, rather. Yeah. And he did like this. Uh, so, Larry, Pierce Brosnan, he wants out of this project. And, of course, the corporation, they said, you ain't leaving. You know, um, you either got two ways to leave. You know, you can either leave with our blessing, which you won't get, which means you'll be leaving dead. And so they're going to they're gonna kill him. And um, so he's hiding out in a, in a hotel, a nice hotel. Mm-hmm. And, you know, this ain't no motel where you can just look out the window and see somebody coming up. He's on a, he's in a nice hotel. And somehow <laughs> the, the corporation found him and they drove right up to the window of the room that he's in <laughs> where he could easily peek out and see them getting out the car. I'm not going to get Job. Shit. <laughs> like people, this is not, you see him in the lobby. This is a nice hotel. Mm-hmm. You know, he was probably up on the on the 10th floor. You know, he was like, on the 17th floor yeah. going, oh. Yeah. And <laughs> why did I pick the room with the floor with only yeah. one room on it? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> all, the, all the dudes, why do we stop at the window right, right, right. where he could see us coming? Yeah. With all the trees and shit around. Yeah. Too. <laughs> so and all the rooms around it, we'd have to pull up to the one room that he's peeking out the window in. But these guys suck anyway, man. They, they suck, and they seem to think, like, hey, we're just going to bum rush this dude and take him out of here. He can't do nothing. Yeah, He's I, a scientist. He gets to drop on them several times, boy. <laughs> Mainly because they just, yeah, they just suck. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Yo, oh, damn. <laughs> he did that shit with some flair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this dude, like, these guys just don't pay attention, man. They are terrible at their jobs. Man. That was delayed. He carjacked somebody. And the dude, did you notice how it was delayed? Uh-huh. Like, like, he slammed the door and the guy was like, huh? Oh, hey, oh, hey, 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 hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Why you? Damn it. Why you? And he didn't even try to tell his boss. When he right. He didn't even try to sneak up. He just like. What are they all going to tell their boss? What are they going to tell the Dean Kane when they get uh, Dean, Dean, Dean Norris when you know, they get Dean back? Kane. <laughs> He's gonna tell him you have failed me for the last time. Exactly. Uh, look, I could go all y'all, but th- but at the end of this, it's just it just turns into a big CG cartoon, a bad CG cartoon. But you're not even human anymore. What you can come terrify me? Very angry. <laughs> oh my God! Back there, there's that face. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Now, who's, who's he hitting? Dean Norris? He, no, uh, he's hitting. Uh, 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 what's uh, his uh, name? Chris Brosnan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Larry trapped him in the computer. 
and he's trying to figure out a way out. So he's getting really mad right now. But uh, this is just a this, this is just bad animation we're watching at the end. It's just a cartoon. I, I got so distracted by how bad this got near the end. I lost details of certain things. Like I don't, I don't even know how or why they blew up the the building, the corporation building. Oh, uh, Larry's put the bombs in there. Oh, did he? Yeah, his whole thing was I got to trap Job in in this virtual reality. Hopefully, I can talk him out of it. If I can't, I got to blow the building. Where did he get those bombs? <laughs> the chimp, the, 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 the chimpanzee, the chimpanzee. Oh, sorry, I don't know. That's, shit. that's what I'm saying. Out his ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>Sure, what? I, mean, I mean, it was like styrofoam. Yeah, actually. it does. It does. Yeah, it sure did. Wow, it sure did. Look at that. <laughs> Boy, that paper. That is, oh paper my thin. god, that's paper that shape. is paper thin. That, that's not even. Yeah, that's not even styrofoam, man. That is paper. That mm. is cardboard, like you said. Look at that. They just threw their asses on the ground. Who, who, who's that? Who <laughs> jumped that, down? That's oh. Larry in the gang. And uh, that's uh, the, the, the kid, Peter. <laughs> yeah, and his mom. The yeah, the, the, uh, Peter and his mom d drove Larry out there. Uh -huh. And he said, like, y'all wait over here. But Peter's a kid in a movie. Yeah, so no, kids no, in so movies so never listen. No, no. They, they run right where you told them not to go. Yeah. No, that's why I was asking. I was like, they, they just... This, this is how this movie's coming together. Like, he just pulled those bombs out of his ass. Well, in your cut, did they have where uh, Job got Larry's wife killed? No. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Because he started taking over people's minds. He took over her mind and had her like a Stepford wife for Larry. And Larry's like, man, you got to stop doing this. And then when all those dudes, army dudes came to the place, he had her pick up a gun and shoot a bunch of them. And one dude they, had a machine gun. and just lit her ass, ass up. No, that was not in my cut. Yeah. No, that's very yeah. interesting. Your no. cut, she never comes back. She right? never comes back. No, he could give a shit less. That's why I'm saying in my cut, <laughs> that's how, okay, so I can see how this added more mm -hmm. to the movie. Well, well, she yeah. didn't come back, but she was just like, you, and he was just so like, you just really don't know what's going on with me, do you? And she was like, no, I'm just sick of you. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so the ending of this, you know, because I will say this about the movie before, because we're done now. It's the end of the film. But I will say that this movie was a little bit ahead of its time. I mean, it's talking about technology that people were not aware of yet. Mm -hmm. Virtual reality. I mean, <clears throat> we've heard science fiction versions of that. But this was kind of touching on, you know, still it's ridiculous here. It takes to le very unrealistic levels. But at least they were talking about it in a more, slightly more realistic way than science sure. fiction movies. And, you know, this is 1992. The majority of people in the world had not known of the Internet yet. Mm -hmm. And this was talking about the Internet. Uh, this is talking about how Job, Job, who is pretty much a supercomputer at this point, he's talking about how everything will be connected to him because he escapes out of the, the facility some kind of way. He finds a portal and goes through it. <laughs> I was doing the uh, Super Mario. Bros. Yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> a green, pole, green pipe. Yeah, green think. pipe. So at the end, Larry gets a phone call as he's about to try to hit on uh, Peter's mom right there. And it's Job. And Job was talking about how everything's gonna be connected under one system through a series of phone lines. And that's, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, and, that's and this is 1992. And this is how the movie is. So now, Job is connected to everybody, and you know. And of course, since we don't have like cell phones like we do right now, anything is he's you know he's not going to be as effective as he could be today. But the movie was touching on something that a lot of people did not know about, and little did they know that this was about to become reality mm -hmm. to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of cool with the film. Yeah, Job is the first computer virus. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Trojan horse. Yeah. So there you go, y'all. Uh, lawnmower man. Yeah, ridiculous. In all its glory. Jesus Christ. Very ridiculous. Very ridiculous film. Even with the touching on things that are ahead of its time. Yeah. But, and uh, it was good going back and visiting and, you know, laughing at all the silliness up in here. Uh, can't wait to see what y'all choose next, but enjoy this. Yeah.